Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Art House. Quick update for you. There was an interesting revelation in the Discord today, so I wanted to bring you some breaking news from the Collector Art House. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. So in Discord this morning, um, we got into some discussion about some alpha precon decks that were given to a couple of folks who visited Eric at his office in, in uh, New Zealand recently, right? And they walked away with a couple of gifts from Eric. They got a couple of the alpha precon uh, boxes, the pre-constructed decks and, you know, play mat and I don't know, maybe some tokens or something like that, right? So in the alpha precons though, there's an interesting finding here. And we don't know, let's get into the details and speculate on is, if this is a problem perpetuated through the full print run for the Alpha Precon decks, or if it's an anomalous situation um, specific to maybe some early prints of these starter decks or Precon decks, right? All right, so getting into the video, actually, let me start with an announcement. We had an announcement back in November of 2022. Here you go, November 17th, published by Simon, former employee of the company. And um, in this article, he says that we wanted to share the first preview of the Sorcery Contested Realm Alpha Set cards with you, our backers. All right, we pulled the very first decks from the production line so we can showcase the actual cards you will receive and take a look at the first real Sorcery cards. All right, so this would lead you to believe that this is the official um, print, you know? Um, and, you know, they went to mass scale production, and this maybe is something we're going to find in the, um, the broader... Uh, fulfillment of alpha all right so there's some inconsistencies in the cards and that's what i want to get into so if i go to let's see i had an image from uh in this video here let me see if i could quickly find that so here's the preview and if we fast forward a bit i want to go to when he showed the spear of destiny card there was a pretty decent image that'll highlight this fact, I think around the five minute mark. Okay, so here we go. We had Melissa, oh, let's go back just to here. I think it shows up pretty well on the Melissa Benson card here. All right, if I can just get that. It's a little tricky because of this scroll bar is covering it up. But if you look here at the bottom, it's subtle because it's near the bar, but there's these little lines that come out from the side of the artist name. And in here you would have the alpha symbol. So it says art, Alpha in a circle, Melissa A. Benson, and then you have these two black lines coming out of either side of that. So if I run the video here, we could see it again when he shows the Spear of Destiny. Okay, so now here you see the little lines coming from the art and from Modesti. Andrea Modesti is the artist's name, but in the circle, it looks like they have the C for the copyright symbol. That was something they had in the early design before they decided on the Alpha logo for the Alpha print. So it looks like in these pre-con decks, there's a mixed bag where some have the alpha logo and some have the, the um, copyright symbol still. All right, so that's pretty interesting. And then in the, in the boxes that were recently given to the visitors at Eric's office, surface this video. All right, so I'm gonna rerun this and here you go. So first instance here, you got the alpha symbol, Severin Pignot from uh, France, and you see the little lines coming out of both sides of the artist's name. All right, so now if I skip ahead a bit, let's get into, all right, here we have Cornerstone by Margaret Oregon Keen, and look, the alpha logo, all right? And the lines are more subtle. Sometimes they kind of blend in with the art, so you can't see the lines coming off of it as pronounced, but you can see that's clearly the alpha symbol again. All right, and now if we go forward here, Shifting Sands, here's our first anomalous card, so to speak. So you got Vasily Ermolayev, and you have the C within the circle, very clearly shown here, right? Let me fast forward, so here he is pointing to it, the C on Shifting Sands. All right, so there's an inconsistency. And then there was a second video, and if I blow that up to full screen, here you have the Precon deck, it's from Alpha. Again, art from Severin, Alpha symbol, the lines coming out the sides. And now if I fast forward, here we have a shot of Kayo's card, and we have the alpha symbol as well. That's the Quagmire, Quagmire Atlas card. All right, so scrolling through, scrolling through, there's a shot of the Spear of Destiny again. And here you go with the C in the circle. 
All right, so it's consistent with those early prints we saw from Simon back in November. So we have an inconsistency here, guys. It's very fascinating. Um, we don't know if that's going to be perpetuated into the full print run or if this is just early prints that were then corrected and released. But anyway, we'll see how that plays out. Get it out there and uh, we'll see how that goes. But a fascinating find. We'll see what comes in the real deal. All right, take care, guys. Till next time. Like, subscribe, and follow. Appreciate it. Take care.